Yo guys, going through some old footage here, and a few months ago I had a pretty bad garage fire that could have got seriously out of hand. I didn't decide to use the clip at the time, but now I figured I'd I posted on Facebook and Instagram without an explanation, and that way I will see people are probably going to just tear me up in the comments. But anyway, in this video I figured I would play the clip and then do slow-mo and kind of explain what happened. So if there's any questions, you know, instead of answering a million questions. Uh, so anyway, let's, uh, let's dive into the clip now. Now let's go through this in slow motion, talk about what happened, kind of caveman style, just holding the, the GoPro. But So I'm plasma cutting some stainless steel early morning and not paying attention to where my sparks are going. They are shooting over to where my, uh, this is a used oil bin and occasionally I throw brake fluid, sometimes gasoline in there too. Well, the cap was not on it, I had the, the funnel and it's basically shooting right in there. So pretty, pretty bad, but here we go. And that's a slow motion. All right, small explosion from the gasoline vapors, presumably in there. I'm kind of in shock, just blown away at this point. Whoa, what's happening? All right, I shove this. I assess. I, I stand the five-gallon jug back up. You can still see it's still <laughs> throwing flames out of it. And I'm like, okay. So I go get the fire extinguisher. Well, it's not there. I, took it for doing a will it run video is my truck i go to get the garden hose and at this point uh, i realize the garden hose is winterized but also something that crosses my mind is oh this is an oil fire we sh probably shouldn't spray water on it uh, but then i look at it and the flames are getting huge so i run and grab my other fire extinguisher which is water and even says don't spray on oil fire on it that i put on paint and there it goes spraying out the oil fire with water and as you can see, it did go out. Uh, so kind of my thought process there was that the oil is not hot yet. That that whole spraying water on an oil fire is mostly for if uh, oil is above boiling temperature, then it will it will cause it to, to spray everywhere and could make a, a small oil fire massive. Uh, so anyway, that was kind of kind of how it went. And I figured I would make that quick explanation since I'm sure you know, there'll be uh, a question or two about what the heck happened and what was going through this guy's mind. Let's just watch that one last time in regular, if anybody wants to see it. Here it goes. Uh, let, me, let me just say, it's 30 seconds long this takes place, but uh, when that happens and you have a small explosion, you you really can't think that well. It's it's uh, It gets pretty crazy. <laughs> Very lucky the explosion wasn't bigger. Uh, could have been bad. And at this point, you know, I, the camera doesn't even do it justice. Those were like, you know, five foot flames or so. Of course, of course all the other flammable stuff around the garage. Anyway, so yeah, got out of that one all right and figured I would just make this quick video to explain things in case anybody wanted more details instead of uh, answering a million questions. But hey, uh, stuff happens, especially when you're careless and not paying attention to where sparks are flying and you have open flammables. So be safe out there. And uh, yeah, now I always keep the cap on that.